make a lot with tables on Canva. You can create social media posts. You can create infograms using tables. You could also create stunning graphics using your Canva. Let's dive in on tables on Canva, especially the new merge option. Whatever it is that you would like to design, you're going to open a blank canvas. I'm going to be using a presentation canvas because it gives us a lot of space. Once you've opened that, you're gonna to go to your elements and you're gonna scroll down to tables and click see all. Then there's different kinds of tables that you could be using. I'm going to pick this one and add it to our design. You click once and then it adds on the canvas that you're trying to work on and create. To start working on your table, you can click and select any cell or you could select the whole table and click and drag so that you size it to the size that you want to have on your design. Each cell is editable and each cell you could add information by double clicking on it and then start typing to add text and you could size the text like we usually do on our canvas. What I do want to show you when you're working on your tables on Canva is that the cells are managed by these three dots or ellipses on the side. So if you've selected, say for example, this section and you view the three dots or the ellipses, that means you are manipulating this section of your table. If you're clicking on the ellipses on top, that means you're manipulating or you're working on the vertical side of the table. Whereas every time you see the ellipses, they highlight to you or they show you which area as you see in that blue line it will tell you which area are you now editing or adjusting on your table and the menu that pops up when you click on the ellipses would be a copy paste this is the new one i want to show you today add row delete row move row up etc if i wanted to add a row i would click on add a row and then a row is added if i want to delete a row likewise i would do exactly the same and delete the row if i wanted to copy the row i would click on copy and again i would click on paste if there was information on this row and i copied and pasted it is copied and pasted again it could be ctrl c or command c or ctrl v command v that works the same the merge cell is the one that is quite new to canva like a, i think a month or so old when you click on merge cells it merges the cell that you've highlighted for me this is quite nice it works exactly the same if you go to the vertical sign and you merge cells it will merge the cells based on the first block that has been highlighted which is why you see that it has colored it to be the same color as the top part of your table if you move to the top section of your cell area if you've highlighted a cell and you would like to add color to just one cell then you're going to highlight it so that it shows in purple then you're going to go to color and then pick a color that you would like to have that cell have. There's a border that you could also manipulate and change and tweak as you want. When you click on the border, you could change the color of the border to suit your design. So whatever it is that you're busy designing, you could change the border of that cell and make the color to be what you want it to be. I've highlighted the bottom cell of the table. It picks up the two colors that I can also change as I carry on designing whatever design that I, I want. When you move over to the spacing, you're able to space your cells like that, and it creates a nicer design when you are designing your tables on Canva. Thank you for joining me for this quick Canva tutorial. You can go and watch the color Canva tutorial that's showing on the screen. I will see you on the next video.